keeping us safe, for carrying us for another opportunity to bring you this offering, God. This offering is only powerful if you receive it. So we, we're going to check our hands and hearts right now. And just make sure that they're clean. Make sure that they're pure. And we thank you, God, that we don't achieve pure hands and clean hearts by our own righteousness. But by the work that you have done, the finished work. So our eyes are on that. Our focus is on that. We are performing for you. We're not trying to move anybody else's heart tonight. And I thank you, even as we said last night, I'm already yours, so I don't even have to perform in that, in that sense. But there is something like a little kid going, Dad, look what I could do. That is just so necessary right now. And so... Take all restrictions off of us, all second guessing off of us, and just here's this offering, light the fire to it and let it reach you in a, in a sweet and smelly way, all right? And we thank you for it, God, in Jesus' name. You're so good, Lord. You're so good to us. Thank you, God, for your favor upon us, for your life in us. Just take a moment. Come on, fill this room and just tell them thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, open your mouth right now just for a moment. Come on. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice, yeah. Oh, be exalted, God, be exalted, God, yeah, yeah. Worthy, 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 worthy is your name. Worthy is your name.
and just let everything loose. Lift up your hands as high as they can go. Come on. Take them up. Take them up. Take them up. This is a sign of surrender. God, whatever you're trying to do, whatever you want to accomplish tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God in the highest. Oh, 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 oh. Glory, 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 glory.
minute, let's go. Say thank you, Jesus. Keep that worship alive. primed. It's just flowing now. A lot of us don't have sanctuaries to go to, so we just opened this home and dedicated it as a sanctuary for you. But you're not moved on, honestly by buildings and edifices. You're moved by the space we make within the tabernacle of our bodies and our souls and our spirit. So, 
Jesus, set up residence right here. God, I pray that it's a comfortable place for you to rest. Oh, Jesus. Come and rest. Seat yourself on this praise, on this worship, on this sacrifice, on this surrender, on this offering, God. certainly been tried. We've certainly been tried, so let us come out the other side of this truly. And I thank you. We're not reliant upon our truth. We're reliant upon your truth. We're not reliant upon our sacrifice or what we've done or what we have striving to do, but what you have done effortlessly by giving your son which I know is the greatest sacrifice. But you gave it for free. You gave everything. And this is just our return. This moment is just our return back to you. And I thank you, God, that we don't have to summon you here. We don't have to beg and cry and hope that you might show up, perhaps. You're not the guest. You're the host. This is your house. So the fact that you've invited us to your table, you've invited us to your living room. And as we sing and as we worship, you just sit in that worship. Miracles are going to happen. Comments already just from the rehearsals. People saying, I, I believe in Jesus again. I believe in God again. And that can only happen in your presence, God. So thank you for inviting us into your home, Lord. Your presence is where we want to be. It's the only place we want to be in Jesus' name. Musa, amen. All right. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true.
is coming still you're calling me when faith is lost and my old things are said you will be my strength come on and when my mind
at somebody next to you or something. Tell them I'm glad they've been free. real quick. Are you glad to be free? seeing too much other stuff, man. Battle belongs to the Lord. The heart of the King is in the hand of the Lord. So the heart of the King is in the hand of the Lord. He can turn it any which way he wants. Like rivers
rivers of water, like rivers of water. Ready to see a victory, Lord. This is like one of my favorite songs in the last ten years. Well, the weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Cause the God I serve knows only how to triumph. Singing, my God will never fail. Let me hear you sing that. Say, my God will never fail.
what victory sounds like too, right? I just imagine just marching like and God broadcasting our steps into the enemy's camp, you know what I'm saying? We might have been walking softly at first, but then we start hearing the echo of these steps. What we don't know is that the enemy has already left. And it's like God saying, you don't have to fight no more. So stand still, stand still and see the amazing salvation of the Lord. Stand still, stand still and see we have the victory. Stand still, stand still, stand still and see the amazing salvation. Salvation of the Lord stands still. Say we have the victory. We have the victory. a lot of come on, say stand still. The amazing salvation.
has overcome, yes, he has overcome. We will not be shaken, we will not be moved. Jesus, you are here, yeah, yeah. Carrying our burdens, covering our shame. He has overcome, yes, he has overcome. We will not be shaken. You are here
Yes, in the name of Jesus. Come on. In the name of Jesus, we have the victory. Justin started going. I started having crazy flashbacks to being a kid in church. And we had like the green hymnal. Anybody here have the green hymnal? Yes. No? Yes. I think it was like called Hymns of Praise or something like that. And they'd be like, turn to page 76. Be like, what a fellowship, what a Jordi Balini, only ever. It'd be songs like that, but my, my favorite was. Uh, my favorite was, uh, such love, such wondrous love, such love, such wondrous love, that God should love, as soon as such as I, how wonderful is love, like this. Except I sang it up an octave, because I, I sounded like Michael Jackson back then. <laughs> but, um, you gotta understand, I was a black kid, in a white family in a Hispanic church. Right? So so we we sang songs that weren't in those hymnals. We sang, we sang, you know, coritos. They weren't even choruses or hymns, they were coritos. Papi, you know about the coritos, right? <laughs> so it's like uh, I pull that, pull that, singing while pull it in the suit. Hay poder, poder, sin igual poder en la sangre de Jesús. Hay poder, hay poder, poder, sin igual poder en Jesús que murió. And the song leader would go like this. Did you guys sing these coritos in sí, El Salvador? Claro sí. Give Poppy a mic. What are we doing? Come on now. So we would sing, uh, you know what? Take it to seed, Kevin. We never had a black guy in the church, though, so it would have just been a hard C. Just... Como tú. Yes. No lo hay, no. no lo hay, no hay Dios tan grande como tú. No lo hay, no lo hay, no lo hay. No hay Dios tan grande como tú. No lo hay, no lo hay, no hay Dios tan grande como tú. No lo hay, no lo hay, no lo hay. No hay Dios. Oh, I'm so grande. 
como tú No lo hay, no lo hay No hay Dios tan grande como tú No lo hay, no lo hay No hay Dios que puede hacer las obras Como las que haces tú No hay Dios que pueda hacer las obras Como las que haces tú The most popular one okay. we used to sing. Alabaré, alabaré, alabaré al yeah, Señor. Alabaré, 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 alabaré a mi Señor. Amigos, cuando el número de los redimidos todos alababan al Señor, unos cantaban, otros oraban. Did you guys sing this at PCC? A absolutely. And and Poppy was the worship leader, right? He absolutely was. Poppy, you are our worship leader, right? Yes. Sometimes. Yes. Y si tú vienes a Cristo Jesús, Él te perdonará. Una mirada de fe. Salvar al pecado. Thank you. Thank you. I just feel, I just realized we be, haven't been in church in so long. So yep. we're going as far back as we could go. Poppy, you sound so good. Yeah. Go, to, go to E, go to E. Poppy, sing something. Come on. En la cruz, en la cruz, do primero. Vi la luz y las manchas de mi alma él lavó. Fue allí por fe yo vi a Jesús y siempre feliz con él seré. En la cruz, en la cruz, do primero vi la luz. Y las manchas de mi alma el lavó. Fue allí por fe yo vi a Jesús y siempre feliz por él seré. Thank you. 
Papi Lindo, I love you. I love this family. I love the nostalgic moment we just had. <laughs> Going all the way back to Globe, Arizona in Santa Fe, New Mexico. <laughs>
Thank you, Jesus. So be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. I remember when I first started leading worship, I was 19. And I was the drummer. Carla and I was the drummer in our worship team. I enjoyed being the drummer in our worship team. I just had enough responsibility to hold it together. The pastor called me on a Wednesday morning. He said, hey, I want you to consider being our worship leader. And I said, I'll pray about it. You know, I didn't want to say no right out, but Dr. Mike made it and I said, oh, I'll pray about it. He said, great, pray hard and pray fast because you start tonight. I remember calling my mom, freaking out, you know. Mom, I get to lead worship tonight. My mom goes, what are you going to wear? With the same frantic, oh my gosh, wardrobe. I remember getting up there. And I knew two songs. I knew Celebrate Jesus, Celebrate the Great... Gary Oliver's song and I knew this song it's all I did I, I knew these three chords man be glorified and my legs my, my right leg in particular would just shake uncontrollably I had no idea what I was doing I was scared to death but I watched how God took that simple talent that simple gift and turn it to his glory I I remember going home and putting my little piano in my kitchen because the acoustics were good in there. And I set up a candle and a vase and some salt and pepper shakers because even then I wanted to be cross-cultural. And... <laughs> and my simple prayer 30 years ago, 30, jeez, was the prayer I pray every day when I sit down at a keyboard and when I sit and pick up a guitar or get on worship Wednesday and try and to encourage people. My prayer is, God, if this is what you've called me to, then teach me how to worship you. I know that sounds so simple right now, 30 years in, but it's the key. God, I never want, I never want to, think like, hey, I've got 30 years in, God, I got this. I never want to get stuck singing and leading to the front row. I want to be the court jester of worship that entertains the king. <laughs> I want to be summoned into his presence. And maybe it's just this song, be glorified. No matter how simple, be Glorified, but sing it with all your heart and entertain the king. I felt like he put his hands on my hands and just began to play through me. He began to sing over me in that little kitchen. And here we are, 30 years later Singing the same song, singing the same song All we want is you to be glorified, Jesus
Yeah. It's your goodness that leads us to repentance. It's your kindness. It leads us to your heart It's your grace That gives us a place at your table Without apology When you invite me, I'll sit down A seat at the table. I know who I am. I know who I am. I have a seat at the table. I know who I am. Who I am. He said. I have a seat at the table. I know who I am. I know who I Hope and a future. I know who I am. I know who I am. I have a hope and future. I know who I am. I know who I am. We say, I have a hope and a future. I know who I am.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I will follow you. Commit myself to you tonight, Jesus. I empty myself out before you tonight, Jesus. I lay me down. Yes, God. I will follow. As I follow you, your goodness and mercy are chasing me down. Your goodness and mercy are chasing me down. While I follow you, your goodness and mercy are chasing me. something about his mercies are new every morning and being a creative person I'm I'm also visual or just sensory you know so mercy to me has a smell and if you're married you know you know what it's like to like go to bed like a little bit cross with somebody or them to be cross with you imagine but you wake up in the morning to the smell of like bacon and eggs and biscuits and sofrito and you know and you go the, the, the first thing when that smell of the coffee and the, the baked goods and the pancakes and the waffles and I'm getting hungry just talking about this but it hits you and you realize man there's no way I deserve whatever she's cooking for me right now and there's something about baby I love you last night was what it was here we are Mercy is like that. That's mercy. God goes, hey, we got a fresh 24 today. Let's try again. The age of COVID we all been going through, some didn't wake up. And here we have woken up to the smell of the mercy of God. Tina said something the other day. Tina, say, say what you said about accepted and what it opens up. Oh, um, while we've been rehearsing these songs, I mean, uh, just going through the lyrics and hearing the heart, um, hearing your heart, it's just been so amazing because I was saying that when you know that you are loved, and not just love, but you're loved with the everlasting love, there's a whole new level of gratefulness, um, I think, that comes to us. And when we worship God in those moments, just, I think there's a freedom, actually, that comes to us. When we know that he knows, now he knows the real us, okay? Not the us that we brought into this room, but he knows the real us. At our deepest, darkest, lowest place, and still somehow, some way, he looks at us and he says, you're accepted. I, I got a seat at this table. Oh, 
it blows my mind and I think how can we not how can we not worship how can we not just lay down in his presence and humble ourselves how can we not give him everything all the praise all the glory that is to his name Woo! I'm telling you it just creates just knowing that we are accepted knowing that he is a place for us a prepared place for us I'm telling you it makes me love him it makes me want to praise him it makes me want to live my life for him
God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Yes. Take a moment, just think about His goodness. His goodness. I see the evidence of your goodness all over my life, all over my life. I see your promises in fulfillment all over my life. something kind of special but singing
sing it one more time. in the goodness of God. I see the evidence and fulfillment all over my life. Stay with it. All over my life. All over my life. All over my life. watching don't mind us we're just having a good old time i think about 40 minutes ago we forgot that we were live and we just decided to throw away the worship set list pco crashed but but keeping it real i'm not sure who i'm talking to what camera but we uh we wanted to do this not just to not just to exhale after eight months, <laughs> but to also inspire and encourage everybody watching tonight. And we certainly have a, a special place in our lives and in our ministry and in our hearts for, for worship and for worshipers. And we wanted this to just kind of be, a, I don't know, an example of what you could do safely at home, worshiping God. And just because the doors of the church, amen, are not open quite yet. There's something about gathering and worshiping. So we put a challenge out about a month ago to worship leaders and said, hey, do your take on an Israel and New Breed song and we're going to air it on this uh, Feels Like Home concert. So we're going to cut to that now and we'll be back with you in just a second. Check it out. Here it goes.
Yes, you make all things new and I will follow you forward. You make all things new. Yes, you make all things new and I will follow How great was that? And while we were away for a second, Infinity Song joined us. Yeah. 
We have something in common. Neither of us really like uh, Instagram all that much. I mean, no, no shade to Instagram. We just don't spend a lot of time on social media. But this is one of those cases where I'm glad we did because yeah. uh, we kind of met that way. My exactly. daughter, Mariah, there introduced your music to me, and I am so honored, and we as New Breed are so honored that Infinity Song is with us tonight. We're honored to be here. Israel, I have to say, though, our friends from Instagram will probably watch this, and they'll be ecstatic, so we actually do love Instagram. <laughs> hey, we love Instagram Way to fix much. it, Abraham. I appreciate that. Thank you. We love everyone on Instagram. <laughs> Everybody. Are you ready? Yes.
trust you, Lord Jesus. Yes, God. Every day of my life, I'll trust you. In the morning and in the night, I'll trust you. You're trustworthy, you're trustworthy. No greater power to trust. Trust you with our everything. Thank you. Who is like you, Lord, in all the good? That's the slow. Beauty in this world Nothing in this world will satisfy Singing Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry yeah. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Jesus, you're the cup that won't run dry Let me hear you I was thinking about the fact that many of us haven't been inside a church building for like seven, eight months. And how powerful this song is. Like, Cody wrote this song, man. And, and he just, he just kind of nailed it for me. Like, the idea that we kind of go to church sometimes and hold God hostage. Like, the, the utility of that blows my mind. It always kind of has, but not having the luxury anymore of just going and going, and let's see if the, the worship team can move me today. You know, let's see if they sing my jam, because if they sing my jam, God, I'm going to hook you up with a praise. I know how, like how dumb that sounds, but like subconsciously we tend to do that. If they're doing a song we don't like or we don't know, kind of end up like drinking our coffee and crossing our arms and scrolling on Instagram during worship. And I'm thinking about, man, when the world reopens, like fully reopens, the reset that has happened in our hearts, 
that says, God, I'm so sorry for ever like making you compete with the very blessing that I asked for and you gave me. Like, God, I can't really, I can't really do that. I can't really cross the street and speak to that person. I can't really give to this particular cause because, you know, I got, I got these other things I got to handle and, you know, that boat you blessed me with, I need to take it out Sunday. <laughs> So when I sing these words, I'm like, it's such a song of repentance and just scaling it back to what matters. Coming back to the heart of worship. And it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. I'm so alone for the thing I made. When it's all about you, caught up in your presence, say, caught up in your Just one. 
nada más, nada más, nada más que tú, te quiero a ti, nada más, nada más, nada más que tú, te quiero a ti. Nada más, nada más, nada más que tú te quiero a ti. Nada más, nada más, nada más, nada más que tú. Caught up in this holy.
Take my breath away, only you. Take my breath away, but then you breathe new life into me. Only you. You take my breath away. Only you. Take my breath away, only you, Jesus. I can't breathe without you, no. So you breathe new life into me. So breathe in me. So 